Hi, I'm Lorraine Prokopiu and I'm going to be working on the lower limb today and we're working on the second one of our series of three. So this is looking a little bit more intermediate, working the legs. So you'd be looking at doing this if you're trying to build a bit more strength, a bit more control through the legs, um, uh, or maybe you're working this with your upper body workouts that we've done and this is your second day and you're into your lower body. So I'm working on an Align Pilates uh, Pro Reformer, it's an A8. Um, I've got the jump board already attached and we're going to be working with that quite a bit. And I'm also going to be working with the large Swiss ball and the smaller air dome. So we'll get started, we're going to go on to some footwork. So coming down onto your reformer, lying down on your back and we're just resting the feet onto the jump board here. So I'm just gonna press up and down. Now, I just mentioned the springs that I've got on here. I've just got a one green and one red spring and I'm just pushing up and down, just feeling a little bit of work through the legs. It's not too strong, pelvis is neutral, just nice and easy, just getting into the movement of the reformer and just gently warming those legs up. Great, I'm gonna push up and stay up and then just walk the feet down a little bit because I can do that in this situation because of the jump board. So I can get the pelvis and the hips in more of a neutral position. And then let's work there. So I'm gonna bend and straighten. Now you'll notice with my feet a little lower that the heels lift off the jump board. So just allow that to happen as you're working. And again, just controlling through the legs, thinking about the alignment, knees lining up through the second toe. And I'm thinking about my shins coming over my feet. And then I'm gonna take some little pulses. So I'm going in, I'm seeing how far I can go, keeping the feet on to flat onto the jump board. And I'm just gonna take some little baby pulses here. Now my aim of the game is just trying to get a little bit of mobility through the ankles here. Trying to keep my heels down, just gentle mobilizing through those ankles. And then I'm gonna push all the way up and control back to the stopper. Foot position is gonna change now. I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna point my toes kind of off to the corner. I'm into the second position, kind of like a plie. And I'm just gonna push up and down again here. Again, just feeling the control through the legs, firing up the quads, pelvis stays neutral and just letting the breathing happen. Good. I'm gonna go up again and just walk the feet down a little bit again, just to find that position and come into these plies again. And because I've got the lateral rotation happening here, I'm able to keep my heels on the carriage on the, um, sorry, jump board just a little bit longer. So I'm gonna take some pulses again. So I'm bending the knees and just take the little pulses here. Just small movements. I'm not trying to power up through the legs especially. I'm just trying to get a little bit of sense of mobility through the ankles. Last three, two, one. Push all the way up and then I'm gonna control all the way back in again. Lovely, and then we're gonna bring the feet back to a parallel position. I'm gonna push up, I'm just gonna stay here and just try and rise up and down on the toes, working through the calves. Feeling those calf raises. Now, we can only go to flat in this position, whereas when we're working with the foot bar, of course, we can get that nice calf stretch as we reach the heels underneath the foot bar. But here we're just going to that flat position. And then come up and heels down, all the way back in again. Right, let's make a little change. So we're gonna push up, hold at the top, up onto the toes, down onto the heels, and then return. Let's do that again, push up, up onto the toes, return, and return the carriage. One more round like this. We're just getting the feet ready for a little bit of jumping. So now I'm gonna go again, but this time flow it through onto the toes and then flow back through the feet. Going again, pushing up, flow onto the toes and then flow back through the heels. So I will leave the 
jump board at this point in time and then I'm going to work back through the feet to land. So let's just think about that again. So I'll be driving off the jump board here and then controlling back in again. I'm going to try a few jumps like this. This is, as I say, I've got one red and one green on, so it's strong-ish. Let's give it a whirl. So I'm going to drive up, reach my landing, drive up, reach my landing. If this is too strong for you, then just take a rest and keep going with your just bending and straightening, working my abdominals to support the weight of the legs as I'm reaching for my jumps. I'm just going to do a couple more here. Two and one and a rest nice quads are nice and fired up all right so coming up into sitting again i'm just going to adjust the springs to, before we go into a single leg so i'm going to take this down i'm going to add a blue and then take off that green so i'm going to come on down and uh, work some single leg now so lying down on your back one leg tabletop I'm going to push up and come onto the ball of the foot here and then just pushing up and down on that single leg. So I'm going to do a little bit of a combination set coming up. So I'm going to do some single leg, feet in straps, single leg, feet in straps. All right, so just pressing up and down and then let's bicycle. So we're going to reach the free leg away and pull back in again. Reach the free leg away, pull back in, controlling through the legs as you're switching, controlling through the torso as you're switching. I'm gonna make this one my last one, come on up, and then I'm gonna land that foot and then switch into the other side. And let's go here, so just pressing up and down. And then we're gonna reach that free leg over the top of the jump board drawing those tummy muscles in, supporting the weight of that free leg as they switch. Last two. And a one. And I'm gonna land that foot down and then bring everything back into the stopper. Now a nice sort of place to rest is you can just rest the insteps on the top of the jump board when you're working. So, well, let's take the feet into the straps. So I've got my straps at the ready. Pushing up part of the way, we'll put one foot in, stand on that strap so I can then get the other leg in. I'm gonna start with the legs parallel and we're just gonna bend and stretch. And I'm working my feet here, flexing and then pointing, flexing and pointing. This point in time, I've got my legs together, working the adductors to support the control of those straps. Then let's take them a little bit separated and we're gonna go here, bend and straighten. So I've really got to control a little bit more through the legs because I haven't got that connection through the adductors holding those legs together as I'm reaching. And you'll notice I keep my feet a little bit higher than my knees so they don't get tangled up in the straps there. And then I'm gonna go one more and bring the legs back together. And then just lift and lower, so lifting the feet to the sky, draw the tummy muscles in and just press away. And we'll keep going with that. Again, really controlling as the straps, as the feet lift, as the springs recoil. Bringing the length through the backs of the thighs as you work there. And again, let's separate the legs about hip distance and work from there and just notice that you haven't got the inner thigh connection so much, just fixing those legs together. And so we've got to control them a little bit more independently. Then I'm gonna reach the legs away, pull them together. We're gonna to do adductor stretch now. So I'm gonna lift, hold the legs up, and then separate the legs for a nice inner thigh stretch, control them back together, and then I'm gonna push back into the straps again. Let's go again, so lift to hold, hold the carriage still, open, close, work the abdominals and the butt to push the legs away. Lift, open, close, press away, and we'll do one more round like that, lift, open, close, and press away. 
And I'm going to try and think about keeping my legs kind of parallel. So my knees and toes are pointing to the tower here, or pointing to the risers all the time as I come up and come into my circles. I'm just trying to think about keeping that position so the knees aren't pointing out to the side at all. Good. I'm going to take one more here. Feels really nice. And then reverse. So moving through the hips, controlling through the torso. And there's a definite sense of controlling through the hamstrings as the legs lift up. And I'm going to take one more there and bring it back. All right, so we're going to take the feet out of the straps, one foot out, find the jump board, release. Now make sure you place your straps, ready to pick them up again, because we've got round two to go there. I'm going to come back into one leg into a tabletop, and I'm going straight into a bicycle. So reaching the free leg away and pushing up. And then I'm going to take this into a développé. So I'm going to bend and just reach to the sky, feel the stretch, and then bend and reach back over. So we're just doing the prep here, unfolding and then bending and reaching away. Nice again, stretching through the hamstring as I'm reaching the leg up. And we're gonna take one more there. And then I'm gonna come back in and I'll switch the legs at the stopper on this time. So pressing up, we're into that bicycle. And then we take it into the devil of base. So bend, reach to the sky, unfold, bend, reach over the foot bar. Let's unfold and then thread back over. Finding a stretch through the hamstring. Reach the foot to the sky. There's a tendency to want to kind of really pull the leg and then I'm gonna lose control through the pelvis to keep the foot reaching to the sky rather than to the nose. One more. And reach and switch legs again onto the uh, back of the stopper. All right, so I'm going to work through the foot again. So actually I'll start with the foot flat and then I'm gonna go straight into that flow as I'm gonna push up and come up onto the toe and then bend the knee and control back in again. Push up and come onto the toe, allow the heel to flatten as I bend the knee. One more like that. And then I'm gonna take this into some hops. So pushing up and back. Working through the foot as I'm landing, powering through the leg, controlling through the abdominals, trying to minimize any shake, really feeling the work as I decelerate the spring as it pulls me back in. Last one here, and then I'm gonna work into the other leg. So let's just prep the foot up again, pushing up and away onto the ball of the foot, and then as I land, the heel comes down. So there's a real sense of flowing through there. And I'm just gonna take one more here. And then we'll take the jumps or the hops, driving through that leg. Always remember, you've got to reach for your landing because otherwise you'll crash land into your stopper. Getting the sense of control and driving off, getting that dynamic work going. Last two and one and all the way back in again. And I'm just going to finish this set off with some hops from leg to leg. So tabletop again, let's go for it. Hopping one leg, switch, and the other leg, switch, good. Reach for that landing so you don't crash land into the stopper. And really feel like you're controlling your landing with that landing leg. <laughs> nice. Let's go one more each side. Good, and then we'll come back into a landing again. I'm gonna rest those feet, take a breather for a second, and then I'm gonna pick up my straps again, and we're coming back to feet in straps. So pushing up half of the way, one foot, two feet, and now I'm gonna come into a turn out. So I'm gonna bend and stretch again, but the heels are together, toes are apart, so sort of a bit like a ballet first. Plie, so bend the knees, and the straps kind of come between the knees a bit, and then reach away. Heels are glued together. And again, if you can coordinate, flex the feet as you plie, so bend the knees, and then point the feet as you reach away. We'll keep going with that. Nice. I like the feeling of zipping up those inner thighs as the leg, legs reach away on the diagonal. 
Now I'm going to keep this turn out position as I lift and lower the legs. Uh, in that lateral rotation, we've got a bit more glute fun happening. <laughs> so feel that as you keep the pelvis neutral, pressing into the straps, almost with the outer edge of the feet to fire up the lateral rotators through the hip and really feeling those glutes working. Nice, so I'm gonna make this one my last one and then we're gonna take it into the circles. So the previous set, we had the knees facing the tower as much as we could as we worked around. And this time we've got them turned out. So again, there's a sense of firing up your glutes a little bit more as you're working here. And I'm gonna reverse. And I really notice it here on this press down, firing up the butt cheeks. Nice. Let's take three more. Two, and last one. All the way and pressing down, reach. And then we're gonna bend the knees and we're gonna come out of those straps now. So find the foot bar. And if you want to, you could just drop those straps right now. And then we'll come on up into a sitting position. So we're going to head over and work with the air dome now. So I've got this propped up here, so let's just scoot this out. And I'm actually going to bring it down close to the tower, so I can use the tower for a little balance bar. So we'll start by stepping on. I'm going to put my feet either side of these top words, so kind of both feet end up around about to the apex, a little bit of hip distance going on there. And then I'm just going to rise up and down through the feet. And the nice thing I can do here as well is push into the balls of the feet to lift the heels off and then drop back in the heels and try and lift the toes a little bit. So I'm really rocking and working through the feet and almost with the air dome here, I'm getting a bit of a kind of massage through the feet, which feels kind of nice. And then I'm gonna make this one my last one and then see if I can just hold and balance. So I'm gonna let go of the tower here and just see if I can hold that balance. <laughs> Feeling the work and the little adjustments that you have to do through the feet to hold that balance. Now I could even maybe lift the hands up and make some little scissors with the arms out here for a little challenge. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take a little rest and I'm gonna take a step off. Great. I'm just gonna scoot this mat out of the way so I don't end up stepping on that for the moment. And then I'm going to step on to the, um, with the leg that's nearest the tower here, I'm gonna step on to the dome. And again, I can use my hand on the tower and I'm just gonna help myself up into a step, chair balance, and then step back and driving up and controlling back. So once you've got the action here, a little bit of balance at the top, I don't know, can we work a little arm action here? Whoa, that's pretty tough. Pushing down through that standing leg and driving up, finding your center to find that balance. Last two, and one. Good, I'm gonna stay up there again. I'm gonna grab hold and just see if I can find a little balance on the single leg. It's tough, there's a lot of work going on around through the ankle. Fingertips can be on if you need to, and I could even have my toes on the dome too. All right, and I'm gonna hold on just to step off. So we need to do that on the other side. So, we started foot onto the word, so it's onto the um, apex of that dome. I'm gonna push up and drive up into that chair balance and step back and push up and step back. Once you feel like you've got the action, if you feel like you can let go, then do it. A little bit of, I don't know, do we wanna call this running man? Living up and back down, up and down, up and down. I'm gonna grab hold again just to come up and then again, see if I can hold that balance. Toes can go down if you need to. 
Nice. And see all the work going on through my feet and my lower leg to find that balance, which is tough. Find your center, look at something that doesn't move, <laughs> and take a rest there. <laughs> Great. All right, let's pop the, the dome just off to one side. Um, I'm going to bring this mat just to back a little bit again. And then we're going to take the Swiss ball. So bringing the Swiss ball into the middle of your mat, we're going to really think about some hip extension now. I'm pulling the ball into my thighs and I'm going to come up and over the ball, land the hands down and just let the head drop a little bit. So you want to feel like you're in, in an inverted V position and feel like my feet are really ready just to lift off. So drawing in through the tummy muscles and I'm just going to lift one leg and lower and then do the other leg. So I'm drawing in through the tummy muscles, pubic bone is just connected to the ball, pelvic headlights are square into the ball and that's just trying to keep my pelvis still as I move the ball and socket joint at the hip reaching the leg long, controlling back down, reaching the leg long. Now I want to do both legs. I'm going to bring my body weight slightly further forward so my hands creep forward and my feet are already almost lifting off, upper body drops. Tummy muscles lift and then work through the glutes. So we go from this inverted V to a forward slash position. You're really trying to lift those legs as high as they'll go. So we go from this position of flexion at the hip to at least a neutral and hopefully a little bit of extension and then releasing back down and keep going. Drawing through the tummy muscles, you're trying to minimize any pinching into your back. In fact, we don't want that at all. So draw your tummy muscles in, keeping the lumbar spine as long as you can as you work your butt muscles. Here comes a change, circles, lifting the legs up, out, down and together. Up, out, down, together. Two more really firing up your glutes. I find if I reach my legs really long, the glutes fire up even more. I'm gonna reverse, lower, out, around, up, together. Keep that coming. We got two more. And the last one. Nice, and lower down. And then we're gonna come all the way down on to the mat and come into the upright position again. So we'll take a little side leg work here as well. Coming, kneeling onto your, with the ball to the side, pull the ball into your hip, lift up and over. You're gonna drape yourself over the ball and I'm just gonna hold onto the ball here. You might find you want to, that hand, maybe it'll reach the floor, mine doesn't quite, but that could stabilize you if you need to. I'm gonna just hold onto the ball and just adjust that underneath knee so it's as comfortable as you can. The underneath foot could be flipped or flat, whatever works best for you. You're drawing your tummy muscles in, you're just gonna lift and lower that top leg. We're gonna point the foot as it lifts, flexes as it lowers. Point to lift, flex to lower. So I'm trying to keep the ball pretty still here. I'm working with this abduction of the hip. Now it's quite strong, this abduction, because my hips are almost already abducted as far as they're gonna go. So we're really working towards the outer range there. So if you need to, you might prefer just to do this set lying down on, on your mat, on your side, no ball. Lift and hold the leg, we're gonna kick. So kick forwards and then pull the leg back. So flexing the foot as you come forwards and then pulling the leg back. I'm just letting the ball kind of respond to my movement as I'm working here. Keeping nice and lengthened through the spine. It's controlling through the hip controlling through the pelvis. Here we go, this is our last one. Return center, nice long line. We lift, hold, circles. Five, four, three, two, and one. Reverse, five, four, three, two, and one. Reach and land. We're gonna stay here, a little stretch. Sweep this top arm over your ear and just drape and breathe into that upper side of the rib cage and just try and rest those legs as best you can and then we'll come on up and do the other side. So I will stay facing forwards and just bring the ball to the other side. Pulling the ball in, coming up and over, fixing here, lift and lower that underneath leg. Point to lift, 
flex to lower. And as I say, just adjusting that underneath knee and foot as you need to. You might find you need to turn the foot out a little bit. You'll feel where it's most comfortable for your hip. Last two. And one. We've got the kick, so we lift the leg, flex as you kick forwards, point as you pull back. As I'm kicking forwards, I'm trying to reach my sit bones to that foot end of my mat. So I've got a bit of a stretch in the back of the thigh, controlling through the pelvis, controlling through the hip. And I'm trying to get my butt firing up as I take that leg back as well. Last two. And one. And then reset this leg in a long line, nice long body, lifting the leg, circles, five, four, three, two, and a reverse. Your circle goes slightly in front of the body and slightly behind. Last one there, land the foot, drape this arm over your ear and just breathe. Take a rest there, kid. And then we're coming all the way back up again. I'm gonna pop the ball back over on this little stand here. And then we'll come back around and we're gonna work the reformer again. So I'm just gonna come on around to the back. And we're gonna come into a standing position onto the reformer. And I wanna think about the springs that I'm gonna use here. So at this point in time, we left it with one red and one blue on. I think we're gonna go with one red. So let's drop that blue off. I'm gonna take the platform extender here and just slide it up against, just kind of slots in this position, just slots underneath the jump board. So I can use the jump board as a little ballet bar here. Remember that the carriage moves but the platform extender doesn't. So I'm gonna step onto the platform extender first, use this as my ballet bar, and just come on up into a standing position. Standing with the feet a little bit separated. You could have them a bit closer together, but it's quite nice just to feel that movement as you're pushing out and in. Now I've gone straight for my hands on my hips, because I'm really happy with this exercise but of course you've got your little ballet bar there to reach hold of. It's quite nice to know it's there as well, that you can just reach and grab. Now the other thing as well is if you've got a gondola pole, you can grab that as well. I think I've got one set down there, but I'm just controlling, nice and happy here. Controlling as I push out, working the glutes, again, drawing the inner thighs together. We're just gonna go two more here. Nice, now I want to try and work the inner thighs a little bit more. So I'm gonna reach down and just hold on to my ballet bar and then take the foot nice and wide. Now my feet aren't lined up, so let's do that. There we go. So I've got a wider stance here. So I've actually got to work to pull the carriage back in. So nice and controlled as you take it out and draw back in again. Controlling through the inner thighs, zipping them up as you pull the carriage back in. Again, gondola pole works quite nicely and I've always got my little ballet bar there ready as required. I'm just going to do two more here. And last one. Great, reaching down, just hold your little makeshift ballet bar, stepping the foot in and coming off. All right, so we need to do that on the other side. So I'm going to walk the long way around and come around to work the other side. So again, holding onto the ballet bar here, <laughs> with my makeshift ballet bar, one foot onto the platform extend, I'm gonna step on that carefully up, feet about hip distance, maybe a little bit wider, and then pushing out and controlling in. And it's often on the controlling the return that you really notice the glute work here. Hands on the pelvis as well to keep the spine nice and straight. Think about that alignment. A little bit from our level one. Remember the outer hips lining up with the outer ankles. Be aware of that as you're working here. Nice, I'm gonna make this one my last one. And a return. Reach down, take hold of your ballet bar. Nice wide stance there again. Check your feet are lined up. And again, I've got to work almost to hold the carriage in. Nice and upright, pressing it away, 
and control the carriage in. Now I will say as well as I'm working away here that um, I've got grippy socks on. Um, so if you feel like you might slide on your reformer, you could always perhaps use some sticky mats if you have those. Can be a good safety little add on. Nice, here we go, I'm gonna take two more here. And a one, don't crash the stopper. All right, release. I'm gonna bend this supporting knee, bring it home, and then stepping off. I'm gonna come round into kneeling now. So I'm just gonna stay here, holding on again, coming into kneeling. And then I'm gonna bring one foot up onto the platform extender here, holding on to the top of my ballet bar jump board. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna push out into a split, pressing the legs away, and then controlling the recoil in. Nice and upright through the spine. So I'm almost lead the push with my tummy muscles as I press back, and then control in. I'm trying to get a bit of a stretch through both legs as I'm pushing away. So we got the sense of an even push to feel that even stretch. So when I say that, I mean I'm getting a stretch through the kneeling thigh and a stretch through the back of this front leg. So quads, hip flexors on the kneeling thigh, hamstrings on that front leg. I'm going to bring it all the way in. I'm going to hold and just bring the arms out and up to hug the moon, let my armpits drop and just easy pull the pubic bone out of my nose for that stretch. Then we're gonna do the other side, hands down, switching legs again. Nice and upright, and then away we go. Pressing out into your splits and then control. Now sometimes when I'm working this, I actually like to hook the heel over the edge. So I've got something to kind of push against and I don't feel the need to hold the toes down because sometimes they'll grip. So remember that even push even stretch. There's a little bit of push through the arms as well. You're kind of almost guiding the carriage back as we're working here. And we'll do one more. Controlling back, find the stopper, hold and hug the moon. Again, pulling the pubic bone up your nose as you drop your armpits, feeling that stretch through the hip flexors. So I'm gonna do a really focused um, single thigh stretch here. I'm gonna swatch back, switch back to leg number one. So I'm gonna bring this foot onto the, completely onto the um, platform extender here. And I'm actually gonna bring the kneeling knee underneath my torso. Because the, the carriage is lovely and big on the A8, um, my leg is almost a little bit too far back. Um, when I have my foot up against the shoulder rest. So I'm going to stay here. I'm going to put my hands on my hips. I'm trying to grow through the crown of the head and I'm just firing up that butt cheek and pushing the thigh back and then controlling the recoil. It's a tiny movement. I'm keeping growing through the crown of my head as I press the carriage away. So I'm trying to get a little bit of work through the butt and then I'm getting a reciprocal stretch in the other muscle group, posing muscle group, through the hip flexors on that, on this kneeling thigh side. And it's a small movement, but it's actually quite strong. And I'm gonna go one more here. And then I'm gonna pause and take another little stretch. I'm gonna take the hand, um, this same side as the kneeling knee, reaching kind of across, and I'm gonna reach the other hand back and just a little bit of open, bit of stretch there. Feeling a bit of a stretch from that kneeling knee to the back reaching hand. Then we'll switch legs. So again, try and get that feeling of a vertical line through kneeling knee up through the torso. I'd like to imagine I'm pushing my, the crown of my head to the ceiling and I'm keeping it there as I press back. So it's a real active stretch. Glutes firing up, hip flexor stretch on the kneeling side. It's super tempting just to drop and that doesn't make a nice, makes a kind of stretch, <laughs> but tends to have a feeling of a, a, a pressing into the lumbar spine and we don't get that real active stretch. So by firing up one muscle group, we get a stretch through the opposing muscle group. I'm going for one more here. I'm gonna take this same hand as kneeling knee side 
across, holding on to my makeshift ballet bar, reach back and open for the stretch, reaching this back hand. So I'm getting a sense of length from the kneeling knee to this back hand. Lovely, have a rest there. And then I'm gonna come on around into sitting, just finish off with a few stretches in sitting. So just sitting onto the reformer, we're not moving it at all. And I'm gonna do, I call this a seated pigeon twist. So I'm gonna take one leg, cross it over. Hook. Remember, you've only got one spring on there. <laughs> hook that heel onto the edge of the reformer. And I'm just pulling the knee in and finding a beautiful, easy length through the spine. I'm trying to drop, this is my right sit bone, my right sit bone towards the floor, not towards the bench. Then I'm gonna hook that knee um, with the elbow, pull that leg across my body as I twist and turn towards that leg. And again, I'm just gonna actively try and drop as my right sit bone into the reformer. And that just fires up that stretch around the butt and then release back. Let's do the same on the other side. Right leg over left, just hooking the heel kind of on the edge. This seated leg, the thigh is supported completely by the, um, the carriage there. So I'm just finding some length through the spine first, getting that sense of where those sit bones are. Hook this opposite elbow to the opposite knee, turn towards that leg, pressing the leg across the body and actively trying to drop my left sit bone now into the bench. And I can use this back hand against the side of the bench there to encourage the twist. That feels nice because I feel really warm right now. And then release, untangle. Let's release the feet to the floor. We're gonna do another little hamstring stretch here. Really supported through the thighs. I like to place the hands on the edge here and I can push to find some length through the spine. Head one leg towards a straight position and then release. And we do the same on the other side. So trying to keep the back really straight as you're working here, because what will want to happen as the knee straightens, you want to collapse a little bit through the spine. So keeping upright through the spine as you're working. I'm gonna do one more like this, maybe even. And then I'm gonna go again, straighten the knee, hold the knee straight, keep the length through the spine. Just add an ankle circle here. Nice little mobilizer at the end of the chain, reverse. And then release, let's do the same on the other side. Find the length through the spine as you're working, just circling the ankle and a reverse. And release, we've got one more each side with another change. Bring that leg up, again, reset, find the length through the spine, flex the foot. And then very gently try and think about pulling the hip, this hip, back into its socket and see if you can find any more length. I'm getting a lovely stretch all the way down the back of that thigh and then release, same on the other side. Straightening the leg, flex the foot, reset through the length through the spine and get a sense of pulling that hip back into the socket to feel the length from the sitting sit bone to the reaching heel. And then release that leg down. We'll bottom shuffle forwards a little bit and then we're gonna come all the way up into your standing position. Just take an easy knee bend, easy straight, Easy rise through the toes, back to flat. One more round, bend straight, feeling those thighs. We've been working away, driving up. Keep growing through the crown of the head as you release your heels back down. And well done, we made it through our intermediate legs workout. So for those of you that are interested in what I've been wearing today, I am in Tabby Noir. This is a high, low, kind of loose top. Um, in garnet. The tights are full length tights in lake. And then the toe socks that I'm wearing are in that half toe L style. 